Oh my God, it's been incredible. I, I never thought that so much joy could come from such simple little animals. It brings back a lot of childhood and young memories for a lot of us because mo many of us grew up with animals, especially farm animals. I've raised chickens and rabbits, uh, never raised goats. Two goats are kitten like carnation, their names are. And you come over and they let you pet them and really, really. Really good feeling to be out with the animals, ta talking to the animals. So now they know something's going on right now, and, and they want in on it. <laughs> I grew up with animals, and I know how um, elated people get when they take care of them, spend time with them, even just looking out their window at them. So I really thought that, especially now that people can't come and uh, see them, or, we, or they couldn't until recently, their family members, this was a really great way for the residents to be able to get out and be social and uh, have a purpose to get out and uh, enjoy their day. My son and granddaughter would come drive by, and then my granddaughter would phone me and we could talk about the animals that she saw. And it gives us a lot to talk about and remember. I check on them uh, daily, just more of a drive-by than anything else because it's the residents here that mainly are the, the main caretakers of them. So I have a one man uh, named Menzel and he is 100% uh, my go-to for anything bunny, uh, chicken or goat related. Well, uh, we've always had animals all our life. We've had goats and hens and cows and horses and sheep. We had everything when we were growing up. She came and asked me if I'd like to look after some chickens. So she brought down five hens, and, and then she brought down a rabbit, and then she brought down two goats. Now, what else is she going to bring, I don't know. But whatever she brings, I'll look after it. <laughs> I never had to do it. The animals look after, I'd be going nuts.